Do I need to add lime to my backyard to adjust the pH? Let's find out today. This one is just more of a slight acidic. I'm gonna use this little at-home soil test kit to find out what my pH is and see if I need to add lime to adjust it in my backyard today. All right, in the kit you get some little capsules. There's 10 of each for each different type of thing that you're testing for. You can test for pH, nitrogen, phosphorus, or potassium. It's got a little chart here. It tells you what the ideal pH is gonna be for your specific type of grass. In my backyard, I've got tall fescue, so it's between six and seven on the pH. Other thing you've got is these little color-coded canisters, and those are gonna to correspond to the type of little pill that you're gonna put into the canister. Preparing your soil sample, so lawns, annuals or house plants, you wanna take a soil sample two to three inches below the surface. Very important to note, avoid touching soil with your hands. Test different areas of your soil. It is preferable to make individual tests on several samples versus mixing all your samples together. For my backyard, I've got one area that has a ton of moss. Other areas don't have as much, so I'm primarily focused on the areas that are really, really mossy to see if I need to adjust my pH. Place your soil sample into a clean container. Break the sample up with a trowel or a spoon. Allow it to dry out naturally. Remove any small stones, organic materials such as grass, weeds, or roots, and hard particles. And then crumble and finally mix it thoroughly. Time to sample some soil. Want to get any little particles out that you can just break this up that's why i'm wearing the gloves so i can just kind of break all this up into really really fine particles primarily interested to see what my ph level is these are the instructions on how to test that pretty easy just remove cap from the green cap tube fill the tube with soil to the first line carefully open a green capsule pour powder into the tube add water preferably distilled to the fourth line Cap tube and shake thoroughly. Allow soil to settle and color to develop for about a minute. Compare color of solution to the pH color chart. Do I need to add lime? So lime is gonna raise my pH. My pH is down here in this acidic area. Uh, lime is gonna start raising that number to get it closer to an alkaline level. Ideally, I wanna be somewhere in between this acidic to neutral. Very distinct difference on these colors, so this test should be a pretty good gauge on how my pH is doing in the backyard, so let's get it done. We just added the green capsule, shook thoroughly, and we're gonna let the color settle and develop for about a minute. All right, well, it's been a few minutes and the soil has settled and you can clearly see the color. Looks like we're somewhere in that 5.5 .5 to 6 pH, which is acidic soil. So that was pretty cool results from that. That only took a couple of minutes and a few bucks from the home improvement store. And I've identified one of the problems with the mossy area of my yard above the wall. So this is really helpful because now I know that I do in fact need to add lime. Why did I even suspect this to start off with? Well, if the lawn's thick and vigorous and growing and green, you probably don't need to worry about your pH. So if you've got a thin turf like I do, it's struggling a little bit to grow and you've got lots of moss, those are two surefire indicators that you may have a pH problem on your hands. Let's do a test on another part of my yard above the wall to the left if I'm facing it. I have really struggled to get grass to grow there since I've owned the property. All right, on to the second test. I'm gonna test out the part of the lawn above the wall to the left, very clay looking soil as you can see. Same procedure, we're just gonna fill it to that little bottom line. Very easy to do, like so. I'm gonna break this little cap open. Actually, not that easy. You have to twist it a little bit. Pour that in. Fill it up to the floor line. All right, cap it securely and then shake, 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 shake. shake. A little bit different result, not too much. I would say on this one though, if you look at that color, looks like we're probably 
definitely more in that 6 to 6.5. This one is just more of a slight acidic to an acidic. It's not quite as bad, so there may be some other problems going on on that side. Um, one thing I will say that I noticed is there's definitely a lot less topsoil on that side. Um, it really looks more just like the red Georgia clay. So I think bringing in some good topsoil and some organic matter compost is going to be very necessary on that side, along with adding some lime to bring that pH level up. All right, here's my third and final soil sample for today. I'm going to test the pH on the area of lawn below my wall. We're definitely in that slightly acidic, so the 6.5. So you can see the distinct difference. It's a green shade versus the orangey shade that we had above the wall. So most likely we could get by without supplementing it. So that took me less than 30 minutes. I took samples on three different areas in my backyard and I did identify some issues. My pH above my retaining wall is definitely more on that acidic side. So I'm gonna need to add some lime. The little soil test kit that I got also recommends how much lime that you need to add. Um, the reason I did this now is I'm actually thinking about not seeding that area above the wall this fall. I know typically you'll see a lot of advice that says, oh, don't do a spring seeding and don't do this, do that, whatever. Um, I've got my reasons. So I, I wanna spend some time adjusting that soil, um, getting the pH where I need it. I've got stumps up there. I've got moss I need to kill off and scrape up. So there's just more time, more prep work than I have time to do this fall up there above that wall. If you've got a shady lawn with a lot of moss, I hope this helps you out. Please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm definitely gonna work on amending that soil above the wall and getting it ready for most likely a spring seeding. I'll be doing the below the wall area though this fall, so I'll have lots of good content on that. So I would ask if you like the content, please hit the thumbs up for me. Leave a comment down below what's your experience with the home soil test kits and adding lime and how long does it take for it to really alter your pH in your lawn. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. And lots and lots and lots and lots of moss. Freaking motorcycles? Shoot. Driving around during my damn videos. <laughs>